There are a lot of choice words you could use to describe Meghan Markle, an ambitious, probably the least offensive, I would say. But in the first of her long-awaited archetype podcast, released more than a year after landing the big bucks deal with husband Harry, she's hit out at those who criticise her for being just that when she started dating Prince Harry. Speaking to Serena Williams, she seemed to suggest that the term frequently used by her critics is sexist. This message to me and my classmates was clear. Our futures, as young women, were limitless. Ambition? Well, that was the whole point. So I don't ever remember personally feeling the negative connotation behind the word ambitious until I started dating my now husband. And um, <laughs> apparently ambition is a terrible, terrible thing. For a woman, that is, according to some. So since I felt the negativity behind it, it's really hard to unfeel it. I can't unsee it either in the millions of girls and women who make themselves smaller, so much smaller, on a regular basis. The misconception that if you're an ambitious woman, you have an agenda. You must be calculating, or you're selfish, or aggressive, or a climber. Oh, no. You're none of those things, Megan, are you? Uh, not done there. She also took a swipe at the royal family, heavily implying they forced her to continue royal engagements in South Africa after a fire broke out in her son's nursery. Now, fortunately, baby Archie was actually elsewhere in the residence at the time, but instead of simply cancelling her next public appointment, as she could have done, Meghan chose to press on and now blame the awful, terrible monarchy for forcing her to go to work. And what do we have to do? Mm. Go out and do another official engagement. I said, this doesn't make any sense. Can you just... Uh, why did you not bring him? I was like, can you just tell people what happened? And so much, I think, optically, the focus ends up being on how it looks instead of how it feels. And part of the humanizing and the breaking through of these labels and these archetypes and these boxes that we're put into is having some understanding on the human moments behind the scenes that people might not have any awareness of and to give each other a break. Because we did. We had to leave our baby. Mm. And even though we were being moved into another place afterwards, we still had to leave him and go and do another official engagement. I couldn't have done that. I was at uh, Oh, was, I, yeah, well. <laughs> oh, my rage at listening to that. Seriously, absolute baloney. Let me tell you, you are the Duchess. If you don't want to go to the engagement, you cancel the engagement. You've done that many times before. Harry has done that many times before. But I also find this victim mentality over a non-accident at their home where baby Archie was completely fine or at the place they were staying, completely and utterly ridiculous. Lots of people have near misses, and then guess what? Have to go to work in Tesco, have to go and drive the tubes. This is just absolute nonsense.